In this video, we will be going over exporting data in MotiveWave. Historical data may be exported for MotiveWave in several different formats. And to initiate a data export, we can click on File, Chart, Export Data from the menu. And this will bring up the Export Data dialog. In the first field, we would select our symbol. You can either select from the drop-down, or you can search for it from your connected broker or local database. In this case, I will be using Apple. For bar size, you again can select from the available list. In this case, I'm going to select one day. For bar count, you can either select a fixed period of historical data or fixed amount of bars. In this case, there's 500, but I don't want that. What I want is all available and this will provide me with all the historical data, in this case, the daily time frame data that I have saved on my local drive. We have the option here for regular trading hours. And check this to only include bars that are part of the regular trading session. We also have the option to export chart data, including study values, and I will show you that in a minute. From the data file field, here we can select where we want our file saved. In my case, I'm going to have it saved on the desktop. And you'll notice here the file name is the symbol, the time frame, and regular trading hours in this case. Now you can change this again by clicking on Browse, selecting your location, and you can always change a file name. I'm going to leave it as is. And then we have different formats available here. So from our export formats, you'll see that we have CSV and we have four letters for the four digits for the year, followed by two letters for the month, two for the day, and then we have hours, minutes, seconds, open, high, low, close, and volume. And there's some other options here as well. We also have this CSV option here. And if you use NinjaTrader, you can also have it saved. The export saved in these either of these two Ninja Trader formats. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Now let's do another export. File chart, export data, and this time I'm going to select export chart data, including study values. I'll take that off, and I'll click on that. And maybe we'll change this. We'll add here. Let's click on Browse, actually, and add here the word study. Save. We'll hit OK. Now let's take a look at both these files. So here's the first one. Let's take a look at that one. Now let's use numbers. Okay, and then let's take a look at this one. Actually, let's get rid of that. We're not going to need that. We won't need that as well. Okay, so here you notice that with the study export, you have the extra column here with the study values, whereas here you don't. Also in this file here, you'll have the header, and here you do not have the header. So this is what the exported file will look like. Now I selected all available, so my history obviously goes back to 2002 in both cases, and um, the end date would be today, here, in both cases. Let's take a look, and we have today's date. Okay, so that's it for export data, and we'll see you in the next video.